Alright, what's up? This is Jacob here from Global Gaming 101. Uh, I'm talking about the Xbox 720 rumors and everything, and the document uh, that Microsoft wanted out of the internet. And that document pretty much talked about, you know, uh, I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't really care about the other details besides the fact that they are advertising full 1080p support, which isn't smart because the consoles that are now that are advertising that have it not be true and most of the games rub sub HD uh, upscaling or upconverting to 1080p, uh, you, you still, it's still going to confuse the average consumer, alright? Now with, uh... With the fact that it supports six times the horsepower, I, I'm actually kind of happy for that. And it also uh, uh, claims a 2013 release date. Now, official Xbox Magazine, the August 20, uh, 2012 issue, claimed that there won't be another Xbox 360 dashboard update, like a real deal dashboard update, uh, until the next Xbox comes out. And we are probably going to see a modified version of the dashboard update for this holiday. Uh, of the same dashboard we have now, you know, the ad-friendly one, but uh, that that's that's not like the real difference we're talking about. We're talking about from NXC Connect to the one we have now, right? That's the real difference, and uh, we'll probably see that incorporated in the Xbox 360 when the new console comes out in 2013. You know, every other year they, they seem to be giving you a new dashboard, and uh, with that in mind, 2013 sounds reasonable. Also, the fact that the document claims a 2013 release date, so there's two uh, solid, pretty much, evidence. Uh, there's still a chance that the document may be falsified, but... <laughs> What's the odds if Microsoft wanted that thing out right away? You know what I mean? Also, rumors of the Kinect V2, uh, or version 2.0. Uh, Kinect version 2.0 uh, seems like it has a dedicated processor inside the unit itself, and hopefully running off a USB 3.0 interface for faster transfer rates and bandwidth. Uh, bandwidth. Uh, so there can be uh, faster... Uh, responses and better support like up to four players and uh, the uh, the input and output support also claimed on the document for USB 3.0 which seems pretty obvious right and so that would actually make sense including some special glasses but I don't really want to get into detail about that but uh, there's also uh, claiming a blu-ray disk drive and when people think about that they think about all oh, sweet they're adding another 50 gigs PlayStation 3 already has that right yeah, well, that's not the only thing that Blu-ray supports. Now, yeah, you have to have a dedicated drive towards this. I mean, not dual-layer uh, Blu-ray disk drives can support this new format or standard, but there's actually triple and quad-layer uh, uh, design discs, right? And those optical disk drives that can read that re uh, spin up to 4x, I believe, hopefully faster in the future. Maybe faster now, I don't know. Uh, but you you can see like a six or twelve x uh, dual layer Blu-ray disc drive for PCs now, but a four x Blu-ray disc drive uh, can uh, spins you know at a four x uh, with transfer rates of uh, eighteen megabytes per second or uh, eighty one megabits a second, and uh, with that in mind, the Xbox 360 disc drive is fifteen megabytes per second, not megabits, megabytes per second, and the PlayStation Three. Uh, total transfer rate is 9 megabytes per second and of course they always obviously run lower than standard uh, you know performance that they they claim but still that is improvement that is double what the 2x blu-ray disk drive supports and since 2x blu-ray disk drive is already slow so slow uh, you have mandatory mandatory game installs uh, required like rage in order to actual uh, successfully stream textures and with the with the dual the dual uh uh the dual bandwidth support for the the quad layer disk drives uh we can actually see an impressive uh amount of texture streaming and include, including uh game size now dvd9 back on the original xbox was a like 8.5 gigs minus some anti uh piracy security software on inside of it inside of the disc and with that in mind you actually see like uh they in, in, they added that into the new console outdated right 
and if you include Blu-ray disk drive, uh, 50 gigabytes, that'll be outdated within 10 years, right? So the quad layer supports, I believe, up to 128 gigabytes. That will definitely help support uh, the me uh, the new medium uh, uh, and the new genre of games that we'll see and the new next generation titles and engines and everything. And I know I'm running uh, out of time, but expect a quad layer disk drive, okay? For both consoles, expect a quad layer disk drive, got it? And expect... They expect resolutions over 1080p with future updates and stuff. Alright, sounds good. Alright, Xbox 720, quad layer Blu-ray disk drive, 2013 release date, um, and likely more support, maybe release day support for digital download titles. Uh, this is Jacob from Global Gaming 101, and uh, peace out.